What's up, you guys? It's Adana. I'm Savannah. So we are here. We are going to be talking to you about the PA cat. I know that many of you have questions about the PA cat, and we're going to be hitting the top three questions that we get asked a lot, which is what is the PA cat? What does it mean for you as a pre-PA student? And how can you study for it? And that is like the major thing that most people want to know. So we're going to be hitting that in today's video. This is a new test. It's knowledge-based, and I'm going to let Adana tell you all about it. So the PA cat is a 240 question assessment. It covers nine different science subject areas, and it's really the subjects that you should already be aware of, like your biology and your chemistry and your anatomy and physiology, things that you would have to do anyways for PA school through your prerequisites. So it's really a good assessment of the type of student that you could possibly be for PA school. When it comes to studying for this exam now, that is like the number one question, right? Like, how can we study for it? So speaking of preparing for this test, you have to study for it, right? Um, you think like, oh, okay, I already know this subject matter. I don't really need to study for it, but you need to study for it. And for me, I know that when it comes to studying, there are various different models out there. I know that when it came to PA school, the PA Q bank was like king. And there were several different Q banks that you can choose from, but Q banks was the main thing that we used to study for our various different exams. How about you, Savannah? What did you like? I need questions and answers. I tend to lean towards memorization, which is not great for <laughs> these undergrad subjects or for PA school. So I found QBanks to be extremely helpful in making sure I wasn't just memorizing, but I could actually apply the knowledge that I was learning. So I definitely relied on QBanks also. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I mean, I think it's really important that you as a pre-PA student will figure out exactly what works best for you. And that's part of why the PA CAD is important because it's knowledge-based instead of just a strategy test, which helps you to identify the areas where you may feel weak before getting to PA school. So you can review those areas and use it to show programs. Maybe you didn't get the grade you wanted in a certain class, but you really feel like you understand that information. So by proving yourself on the PA cat, you can get a second chance to make a really good impression. That is king because I know like a lot of us in our early undergraduate years, it wasn't necessarily the best. We're new, like we're bright eyed freshmen and sophomores no. and we're still figuring things out. So sometimes our GPAs suffered early on and we picked it up towards the end, but you know, it gets all averaged in. So the PA cat will allow you, as you said, to get that second chance. And learn how to study. So when we're studying for the PA cat, I think starting to study like you would study for PA school, which most of us use QBanks, like Adana said, is a great place to start. And that's where Rosh Review comes in. And I think anyone who has gone to PA school knows all about Rosh Review. We loved Rosh Review. I mean, Rosh Review was amazing for end of rotation exams, for just in-school exams, for the pants. So I know that they have something really good planned for the PA CAT. Rosh Review has teamed up with Exam Master, who created the PA CAT, to come up with a PA CAT Q Bank. And that is a great resource. It is the only resource that's endorsed and affiliated by Exam Master for you to study and make sure you are ready on test day. I love that they have different options. We'll show you what it looks like in just a minute, but they have a 30 day, 90 day or 365 day subscription to make sure you have time to prepare. If you want to make use of this in undergrad or have enough time to review, you'll have so many options and the questions they're tough, but they give such great explanations with what the right answer is and why, why the wrong answers are wrong. And the graphics are so good at helping you understand if you're a visual learner. Let's take a look and see what okay. it looks like. All right. So here is what Rosh Review looks like when you sign in. You'll have the option to create a test and you can choose how many questions are on there. Right now they have over 300 questions to choose from, but I heard through the grapevine that they're adding to that. Is that what you heard, Adana? That is correct. They are adding new questions every month. So yeah. even though you may have 
seen the first 300, maybe you're like super smart and you just breeze through these first 300 in like 30 days, then you'll be getting a new set um, as the months continue. So no worries there. All right. When you log in to Rosh Review, you'll see this screen where you can create an exam. This is in the PACAT QBank, and you can choose the number of questions and your exam mode. So there's tutor, which gives you the explanations right away, or test, which is more realistic. You can go through a timed mode like the real test and then check your answers afterwards. You can choose the questions you've had before, the ones you've struggled with, or any um, or all questions, and then you can do timed or untimed. Down here, we'll see the categories that are on the PA cat. So we have anatomy, behavioral sciences, biochem, chemistry, general biology, genetics, microbiophysiology, and statistics. And I hope we don't get a chemistry question. But let's oh, I know. Happen. Chemistry was not my friend. Not mine <laughs> either. All right. Let's. Okay. So our first test this looks like anatomy. A yeah, skull based so fracture involving the foramen rotundum would cause a deficit to what function? I honestly don't know what, what facial nerves go through it. I think they say if you pick C randomly, you'll get it right most often. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it came from PA school. Maybe not. <laughs> but this is what's cool. So we got it right. Down here. This Eerily. Is <laughs> um, so clearly the trigeminal nerve would be affected. And we knew that. Yeah. But it shows you this here, which is so cool because. I remember doing this in anatomy. And then down here, we have why the other answers were incorrect and some information about those. And then this little kind of quick question to test more of your knowledge. Well, that was good. I mean, I think that that is a really good option for students who want to try to study for this test because as we continue to move forward, more and more schools are gonna start requiring you to take the PA CAT. So really and truly look for all of your resources that will help you um, um, just really ace this exam. Hopefully this has given you some insights into ways that you can study for the PA cat and makes it a little less scary, but make sure you're subscribed and following Rosh Review, Adana and myself on YouTube and social media so that you don't miss out on any of the updates, the launch and the giveaways that are coming up soon. I'm so excited about this because 20 lucky followers, subscribers, viewers, will have the chance to get access to the Rosh Review PA Cat QBank for free. So you definitely want to stay tuned um, next week as we go through, we will be doing our giveaway live on Instagram. So if you're not following us on Instagram, you better go ahead and do so right now so that you can be a part of that IG live and be entered into win. So thank you so much for watching and tuning in and hope to see you guys at our Instagram live. Yeah, thank you again. Thanks so much, Rosh Review, for allowing us to do this. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.